Hello, ladies and gen gentlemen, welcome back to Persona 3 FES. However, things are going to be a little different this time around. We're not doing the journey. Oh no, we've already went through the journey. Now we gotta find the answer. Oh yes. First off, let me config. Auto advance. On. Keep that on. And uh, do a new game. Uh, I'm not going to talk during cutscenes, um, simply because when I talked in the cutscenes for the journey, um, it was because the protagonist was there, and I was like, I was the protagonist, so I'm going to state my opinion. However, he's not going to be in here, and you'll see why, so let's get started. This option allows you to find out what happens after the events of the main story of Persona 3. We recommend that players finish the journey before playing this chapter. We already did that. The combat difficulty... Difficulty is also higher in this chapter compared to the normal storyline, which sucks. But I'll complain more about that when we do battle. Enjoy the increased challenge. Hey, <laughs> yeah, fuck you. This ordeal. It may be that we brought it upon ourselves. that a future exists, and being able to access it, are very different things. We did not understand such an obvious and natural principle yet. Indeed, we understood very little. We knew nothing about using the key to open the path to the future. Yukari-chan, it's me. Um, are you coming today? 
Oh, uh, didn't you see the message I left on the board? I have cram school today. I know, but... I left all the stuff at the dorm, so I don't have to be there in person, right? I suppose not, but are you okay with that? Yeah, I'm gonna pass. Oh, sorry. Break's almost over. I gotta go. Tell everyone I said hi, okay? Yukari-chan's not coming after all. Sonata-san said he's busy at the gym, so I doubt he'll be here in time either. Man, what's up with those two? The dorm's closing down today. With all our memories of this place, you'd think they'd want to see it off, right? It can't be helped. They just see things differently. Everyone started down their own chosen path. It's a good thing. You're right. I can hardly blame them. They seem to get busier and busier. If I didn't have to reclaim these, I might not have made it either. So we finally got to give up our evokers. I hate to let it go, but it's not like I got a use for it anymore. Let's see, two, four... Wait, how many are there supposed to be? I guess. I believe this is all of them. Huh? You had one too, I guess, son? I'd forgotten. You had his for safekeeping. Don't get all gloomy again. I don't think that's the way he would have wanted to see this end. I'm sorry. You're right. We all said our goodbyes to him. But I still wonder, why did it happen? The doctors didn't find anything wrong with him afterward. It just seemed like he fell asleep, didn't it? He must have used up all his power to protect us at that last battle. It's useless to try and guess at the reasons why. I am certain he didn't blame anybody for what happened. Yeah, Aichan's got that right. Hey, but I'm glad to see you're still hanging in there, Agus. Back then, it was like he was all you could think about. I'm... somewhat surprised as well. It's possible that I will not feel the full impact until I am alone tomorrow at the lab. Huh? The lab? Are you planning to commute to school from there next semester? Oh, no, I... I guess is returning herself to the lab tomorrow. She won't be enrolled as a senior. Seriously? Why? Can't she stay in school like before? The decision was mine. I'm sorry I didn't mention it sooner. I enjoyed being with you all, but I need to find my own way of life. Oh, but you can come visit me anytime. I guess. Think of it as a new beginning for her. Anyway. We seem to have gotten on the wrong track, but today's not meant to be a sad occasion. I've ordered excellent sushi for us all. The same as before, actually. We may not have been able to get everyone together, but we should all have dinner here tonight. Oh, that, that would be great! You got that sushi again? Sweet! No objections here. You're gonna join us, right, I guess? Of course. I couldn't miss spending time with you all.
The number of apathy syndrome cases is down from last month, which seems to mark an end to the strange illness. However, surveys show that the number of people who report serious stress in everyday life has not decreased. According to research carried out by the Ministry of Health and Welfare, Oh, when did it get so late? It's almost midnight. It's hard to believe we've spent the evening doing nothing. Sitting here like this reminds me of those days. Perhaps that's why. I think I can understand. I have so many memories of this lounge that I find myself spending time here for no reason. It's the same for me. When I'm here, I think about when we were still fighting. It's strange, since my memories of that time are more painful than happy. Well, all that stuff aside, doesn't something feel weird to you guys? I'll be walking around and people act like as long as they're happy right now, nothing else matters. Those stupid stories that Strega spread around are still out there, you know? It makes me think, is this what we almost died to protect? Are you saying people don't know how good they have it? <laughs> You're sounding like an old man. Hey, who asked you? That's out of our hands, I'm afraid. We prevented the fall, but we can't reform society. Yeah, I guess, but still. And that's the weather. At the tone, the time will be midnight. What was that? Midnight. It can't be. Is it the dark hour again? Nah, everything's fine out there. Wait, the news. Good evening. It is now March 31st. Here's a recap of the news from the 30th. The 31st was yesterday, right? Did the anchor misread the date? Hey, is that all? Even they make mistakes every once in a while. It's nothing. Weird. My cell says it's the 31st, too. Well, looks like a false alarm. So far, I'd agree. But something felt... off. <sighs> it's late. We should call it a night. What a lame finish to our last day in the dorm. <sighs> um... Would it be alright if I returned to my room? I have to prepare to move tomorrow. Sure. Good night, I guess. Night. I'd best contact Yukari and Akihiko, just in case. When I close my eyes, I remember the last moment I spent with him. The day he fell asleep, we brought him back to our dorm, fear beginning to well up within us. And the next morning, our fears became reality, and he was lost to us. For some time after that, I fell into depression, and began seeing the same dream, night after night. A dream where I run after him, calling his name, but can never catch up. When he was alive, I promised to protect him, and I made that my reason for living. That promise is gone. Unfulfilled. Then, one day, my sadness suddenly left me, as if a prison door had swung open. I stopped dreaming, 
and I no longer required sleep. <sighs> it's no use. I can't sleep. Can I really continue living like this? Huh? A butterfly? Huh? What's going on? Agus, are you awake? Yes, I am. The door is open. Agus, we need you! Has something happened? It's not... another enemy, is it? I it's hard to describe. The lobby floor opened up and... Uh, anyway, we need to hurry to the lounge! Understood. Come to think of it, the day my dreams stopped, that must have been when the incident actually began. Huh? What's this? Everyone! Keep your guard up, I guess. It doesn't seem human. Shadow? No, this is... It can't be. The same model as me? You're... I guess? Huh? Sorry I'm late. Is everyone okay? Yes, for now. I need you to provide backup for I guess. All right. Who are you? Why are you doing this? I'm Metis. I've come to protect you. Protect me? These people pose a threat to you. That is why they will be eliminated. What are you saying? I won't let you hurt them! Then I have no choice. For your sake. I'll have to force you to back down. You must stand aside. Ha <laughs> ha! Alright, finally I get to talk. Yeah, I'm not going to talk during cutscenes, like I said, because the protagonist isn't there anymore. I'm in auto. Anyway, we're controlling Igus in this chapter. Yay! All right, kill Rush. Ah, damn it! Ouch! Persona. All right, let's try kill Rush again. Awesome, two hundred points of damage. Don't resist, and I won't hurt you. You already hurt me, you bitch. Let's try again, kill Rush. Nice, ninety-nine. Eh? Whoa, 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 she has a persona too? Ah, shit. Uh, let's just attack. Hesitating. Please, don't resist. We have no... You're hesitating again. Yeah, that's what I like about this first boss. Um, if you're close to dying, she won't attack you ever, so... And we won! Yay! What a quick battle. We did it. We beat the game already. No, I'm just kidding. That's all I experienced for one boss battle. I love this. Academics. Needs work. Charm. Kind-hearted. Courage. Fearless. I just love that. <sighs>
A little spoiler right there. Anyway, more cutscenes and I'm going to be quiet. Much stronger than expected. I have no choice. Huh? Is this? Is that Orkio mode? Welcome to the Velvet Room. Ah, a very rare guest indeed. Are you a simulacrum or in fact human? <laughs> it seems your destiny is similar to mine. Um, where am I? Who are you? Ah. Oh. Forgive my manners. I forgot to introduce myself. My name is Igor, and this is Elizabeth, my assistant. We reside in this velvet room. Pleased to meet you. This place exists between mind and matter. A room for those who have forged a contract. Yes, in awakening to the power of the wild card, you are now bound to a contract. From this moment forth, you are our guest in the Velvet Room. Wild card? Surely you know of which I speak. The ability to hold multiple personas and wield their powers. Until recently, a young man with the same talent was our guest here. You... know of him? Indeed I do. He achieved a marvelous thing. Reaching the answer to life. The answer to life? The power you have gained is a means to attain that answer. This answer... If I reach it, would it mean my death? 
all who live journey in search of the answer, and they reach it at the journey's end. If you have close ties to people you call friends, remember this. Strength of heart, when united, is barred by no door. It was the same for that young man. And that is all I can tell you. Well, I shouldn't keep you here any longer. The beginning of your ordeal awaits. <sighs> that feeling again. I am certain you will require our help in the future. Please, take this. It would be best if you came here of your own free will next time. Until then, farewell. I once made a choice to live. So much has happened to me since that decision. If this power is a sign that I'm drawing closer to life, does it mean that the answer at the end of the journey is... death? I was surprised at the time to discover how little the possibility bothered me. Woke up. You're really scared of collapsing like that. Yukari-san. I came because Mitsuru Senpai called for me just in case. And I get caught up in this? Give me a break. I'm sorry to have worried you. Huh? What's all this? While I was fixing your body, I added some additional equipment. We found some strange things under the floor. There was no sign that you would wake up, so instead of waiting, we tried everything we could. I see. It still sucks, though, being bossed around by her like that. That strange girl said, if you want to protect Igis, you should put that on her. Yo, looks like you've been through a lot. No worries here, though. She's on her best behavior now. I guess she wasn't lying after all. Anyway, she can't cause any trouble now. We have our evokers this time. What do you gotta bust things up like that for me? Today's my turn to clean the place. Hey, quit with the silent treatment and say something. Serious? You were sleeping all this time? It opened. I, uh... You look pretty comfy there. I ain't afraid of no humans, huh? It, it's just, I was tired after going into orgia mode. Oh. Did you cooperate with them in order to help me? The reason I came here in the first place was to protect you. These restraints aren't necessary. I won't attack anymore. No one is going to believe you if you don't explain why. It's... It's because I thought you wouldn't like me. Hmm. Let's release her. 
I don't know if she can be trusted, but I believe she has no intention of fighting us. Besides which, if she has the same parameters as I do, the chains will not hold her anyway. Huh? Then these friggin' non-stop shifts were for nothing? First, tell me who you are and your purpose in being here. I'm Metis. As you can see, you and I are practically siblings. And as for my purpose, it's simply to save you, my only sister, from this hopeless situation. Hopeless situation? Did something happen while I was asleep? How long was I asleep anyway? Since our battle ended, I'd say about a day and a half has passed. Yet today is still March 31st. Tomorrow, and all the days after it, will also be March 31st. At this rate, it will last forever. Didn't you feel it, the moment when time skipped? Skipped? Do you mean what we felt at midnight? Then, are you saying that the same day is repeating itself? That's not all. We haven't been able to leave the dorm since this morning. That makes two ways we're trapped here. No. But why? The abyss of time below us is causing a space-time distortion. Abyss... of time? It's difficult to explain. It may be easier to show you. I'll lead the way. Please follow me. Hey, who elected you mayor? What? This is the abyss of time. It's an uncharted territory that probably spreads beneath this area like a tree's roots. How could something like this have appeared under the lounge? At first, the abyss of time was a small thing. Then, without warning, it began to spread out and formed a connection to your dorm. It's clear just by looking at it that this place was not man-made. It might be the product of some dangerous power, the way Tartarus was. Jeez, haven't we had enough of that kind of stuff by now? I'm not sure I can explain it, but the flow of time here is not normal. The reason why time is skipping and why you can't leave the dorm is most certainly due to that effect. The only way to survive is to somehow find a way to eradicate the abyss of time. Eradicate it? How are we supposed to do that? I've already tried the simplest, most direct way. Eliminating all of you. The abyss of time connected to this dorm as if drawn to it. That, together with the way you can all perceive the time skips, it seems clear to me that you have a lot to do with the reason for this happening. So that's why you attacked? In order to eliminate us? What the hell? We, we've never even heard of this place before. If there is another way, we can only find it by entering the Abyss. You'll have to discover the cause and strike at its source. So you want us to investigate it under the assumption that we'll have to fight? That's why I insisted on the extra equipment to protect Aegis. Wait, is this a joke? Are you seriously telling us to go back to the way things were when Tartarus was around? Never mind that. How are we supposed to believe whatever you say and jump in there blind? If you have a better plan, let's hear it. First, the basement of your dorm, then the time skips, and now you can't reach the outside world. If we can't leave the dorm, how will we eat? If we're stuck here for long enough and we run out of food, are we going to starve to death? No! 
If the current situation continues, your lives may all be in danger. What I'm asking you to do is the only way for you all to survive. Naturally, we all want to survive. But you first appear to us as an enemy. You must understand that we can't entrust our lives to you. I'm not even buying your reason for being here. You say you want to protect Aegis, but what's in it for you? In it? <laughs> I'm doing this because I care about her. For heaven's sake, she's my only sister! About that, your claim doesn't fit the facts. Aegis was the last of her series, and none of her model were produced afterward. To hear you talk, it sounds like you've been in this abyss of time from the start. That bothers me. You said this is uncharted territory, unconnected to the outside world, am I correct? Uh, th that's... Aren't you supposed to be a weapon anyway? How do you square that with attacking us to save Aegis? That's... I... um... Well, we're waiting. Hope you've got a good answer. Because if you're stringing us along, we're not gonna let you get away with it. D enough about me! What good is any of this supposed to do you? I thought I told you, there's no time to waste! Now follow me! Or are you going to give up so soon? Because if you are, you should have let me kill you in the first place! What did you just say? It may be true that we have no choice but to enter here. But if you continue to act this way, we'll have to go on without you. Huh? Without me? <laughs> you can't possibly... I know the most about the Abyss! You need me! And... Hey, you don't get to decide that. Fighting would put all of our lives at risk. If that's the way you think of my friends, I can't go with you. But... Ah, too bad. Well, have fun here all alone, okay? Uh, all... alone? Maybe we should finish her off now, so she can't backstab us. Well, we don't have to go that far. Sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to upset you, I guess. I'll listen to you from now on. I will. Please don't leave me. <sighs> Come on, it's... It's too late to get all weepy. But maybe it's true that all she wants really is to protect Aigisa. Well, Senpai, do we take her along or not? Because <laughs> if this is our only choice, I just want to hurry up and get it over with. Listen to me, everyone. It seems that once again, we will have to investigate and there will be battle involved. I've been thinking it over, and I believe Aegis should take command. If someone with the power to change personas is in charge, we can proceed the same way as before. And if you, as leader, approve, I have no issue with Metis accompanying us. Mitsuru-san... If you wish to protect me, you must fight to protect us all. Hurting my friends will not be tolerated. Do you promise? Yes! I promise! <laughs> this better not come back to bite us in the ass. Hey, I guess. Since Mitsuru Senpai just mentioned it, what's up with you suddenly having his power? I... really don't know. When I thought we might lose someone else, I became scared, and suddenly... Metis, was it? Do you know anything about this? I just met her, how would I know? 
Anyway, if you already know someone with that same power, why not just ask him? <sighs> if we're going back into combat, this clothing won't do. Well, you and me are still GeckoCon students until that magic degree comes in the mail. Sorry to trouble you, Yamagishi, but could you retrieve the armbands from the command room? Of course. Oh, and the things we found when the floor opened up. I'll look into them once I have a chance. Maybe I can learn something. All right, let's get back upstairs. Um, I guess... I promise to listen to what you say. So, could I call you sister? Go right ahead. Finally, I can talk. All right, everyone's ready. All right, so right now we're splitting up. For now. Okay. It doesn't matter, they're just saying, hey, okay. The only people we can bring along with now is Yukari, Akiko, Ken, and Metis. Right here. Of course we're going to bring Metis. Uh, she's going to tell us some things. So let's add you to the party. We're going to bring Yukari because she's a healer. Yeah, that's why I'm bringing you along. And I'll you here probably going to explain. Yep, right here. Boxing is the same as real fights in the sense that if you slack on your train, you lose your edge. The last two months left me in worse shape than I thought. I haven't completely forgotten my moves, but I sure can't fight like I used to either. So yeah, this is like a shitty way to like restart everyone's like, Oh, hey, you haven't been fighting since January, so you all suck now. So we can talk to Fuka here, actually. Huh? Oh, she was just wondering about my Orgia mode. Anyway, we're going to look at everyone's stats. I believe everyone's at level 25. Yes. So we're basically all back to where we started. So yeah. Ken. And Metis. I didn't check. Fuka's only at 19. Why is she at 19? Alright, let's see Fuka's stats. Alright. So, yep. This is... I didn't want to do that. So this is going to be our main party right here. Actually, these are going to be the only people we're going to use to fight. Because, you know, Akiko, we had him in. Uh, I might switch Akiko for Junpei a few times because Junpei is actually pretty good in here. And let's go into the Velvet Room. I believe Igor is going to explain why. Yep. First place, new personas. Yep. Yep, we can fuse the same number of personas that the main character for Persona 3 has. Unfortunately, though, we don't get the compendium, which sucks. And we only get the normal spread and the triangle spread for fusions. Okay, well, this part's gone pretty long. This, I guess, is the intro... It's definitely longer than the first one. Oh yeah, you can talk to everyone here. They'll like say different stuff every time you complete a thing. Anyway, I'm going to save the game. I'm not going to overrun this because this is... Ah. Uh -huh. It only took me 23 hours and 11 minutes to beat this game. Or to get that far anyway. So this Let's Play is probably going to be pretty short compared to the first one. Of course, obviously. 
So yeah, but I'm probably going to do a lot of off-screen training because the difficulty is higher, which sucks. But anyway, this does it for the first part of Let's Play Persona 3. FES the answer. We're playing as I guess also, and I love that because I guess, like I said, she's like one of my favorite characters. Anyway, in the next part, we're gonna explore the abyss of time, and I just went down steps. I thought it'd be like Tartarus where you had to press X. Why am I supposed to show? Oh. <gasps> you, what? Yeah, what was that? And I love the music for the Abyss of Time here. Oh, it's so good. Anyway, yeah, we're gonna have to eventually go through all these doors, and I believe one more will pop up here or something. So, yeah. Anyway, in the next part of Let's Play Persona 3 FES, we're gonna explore the Abyss of Time. And I love this music here. So I shall see you guys in the next part of Let's Play Persona 3 FES, The Answer.